over 50% of Australian adults don't have a will. Uh, what's more concerning is that close to 60% of Australian parents don't have a will. They haven't specified who they would like to look after their children in the event uh, of their passing. That means that uh, anyone could come forward, uh, whether it's the person that the parent would want to look after their child or not, uh, and can make an application for guardianship. Without a will, there's a statutory formula to determine what happens to your assets after you pass away and who acts as your executor. So it's not so much that the government gets your assets as it is that they determine how they'll be divided. And it isn't so much that your money won't end up with the right people, but the process for getting there can be a lot longer. Where you have financial dependents who need access to those funds immediately or quickly, that can lead to a really difficult situation where there isn't a will and there isn't a clear set of instructions because the process for getting to that final decision can be a lot longer. The options for writing a will are quite varied. On the one hand, you have do-it-yourself will kits, which are cheap and affordable, but rely on you using the product correctly and have no legal oversight. Or on the other hand, there are specialist estate lawyers who can often be quite costly and provide a product that's more complex than most Australians need. Recently, we've seen the emergence of digital platforms that allow people to write a will in a way that is affordable, accessible uh, and easy to use. The downfall with these platforms is that some of them have no legal oversight and therefore, again, similar to a do-it-yourself will kit, rely on Australians who have no knowledge of estate law using them correctly. Because most of us aren't legally trained, a lot of us don't know what can and cannot be included in a will. We often see people trying to leave part of their estate to their pets uh, or trying to do other things that the law won't allow you to do. Uh, that's really the importance of having some form of oversight when writing your will. So a grant of probate is the process of validating a will at court. We see a lot of Australians choosing to leave charitable requests and choosing to leave gifts to charity in their will. Uh, and that's really important. A lot of people don't know that legacy giving and gifts in wills are the lifeblood of Australian not-for-profits. Um, in fact, over 20% of total national fundraising comes from gifts in wills. So even though a will is a set of instructions that you want to occur after you pass away, it's an amazing opportunity to express what's meant the most to you throughout your life and to show care and love to those who have supported you and have meant the world to you while you've been alive.